And we're continuing to follow breaking news. The Navy has issued an aviation safety stand down. This following Friday's deadly plane crash in Foley. The, pa the pause in flight operations comes three days after that Navy trainer went down. And three days before that crash, a Navy fighter jet went down in California. This new order is for units that currently aren't deployed. More than 72 hours after that tragic plane crash in a Foley neighborhood, we're learning more about the Navy pilot and the student pilot who were aboard that plane on a routine training flight when both were killed. We are also hearing a bone chilling account of that fiery crash from a witness. Morella Porter is joining us live now with this story. And Morella, for the first time since Friday, we're getting a look now at the crash scene. Yeah, that's right, Linnaeus, and tonight part of this neighborhood is still taped off and people we talk to say it almost feels wrong to be home right now after witnessing something so frightening and it just makes them think and take a step back and realize just how fragile life is. Golden 30, get your late response for airplane crash. Aircraft is totally destroyed. A quiet neighborhood shaken by unimaginable tragedy. I saw something like a shadow pass and I looked behind me to see where the sound was going because it was really, really loud and just we saw it make impact and it just burst into flames. Three days after a Navy training plane seemingly fell out of the sky, crashing into this home. It was almost like it was like going like almost at a straight down angle. The devastation is evident. This charred roof and round the clock work since then, a reminder of the tragic accident and loss of the two young women who were aboard the plane. It feels like an hour went by before we like saw the fire just because like the whole thing felt like it was going so slow, but it's like whenever the fire did start, it was huge. 30 year old Navy Lieutenant Rhiannon Ross was the instructor pilot during the training mission on Friday, leaving from Whiting Field in Milton. Alongside her, 24 year old Ensign Morgan Garrett, a student aviator. She was in the Coast Guard, a 2019 graduate of the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. Lieutenant Ross was from Wixom, Michigan. Ensign Garrett from Weddington, North Carolina. As people in this neighborhood try to make sense of how something so awful could happen right before their eyes, Taylor Gilly and Trinity Williamson say to see Lieutenant Ross and Ensign Barrett in uniform and their bright smiling faces has transformed shock and fear to sorrow. It was almost like I think we heard them like as like it went down because there was no one else out and it's very like chilling and sobering now to have like a face to like what we saw. We're told the aircraft was taken out of the yard this morning and as the investigation continues into figuring out what exactly led up to such a devastating accident, Crews will be here for the next couple of weeks, cleaning up the area and making sure that it's safe for those who live here. Live in Foley, Morella Porter, Fox 10 News. And Fox 10 News continuing to follow breaking news we first brought you at 5. Investigators now want to know what caused that Navy plane, primarily used for training, to go down in a heavily populated Foley neighborhood near a school. The Navy confirms the two people aboard were killed. Fox News' Morella Porter has been on this story for us all night. What can you tell us, Morella? Just a horrible situation here in Foley. Multiple agencies responding to this neighborhood this afternoon, including Navy police and people who live here were forced to leave their homes as the investigation continues. Our plane looked like a military trainer plane hit this house right here a couple minutes ago in our subdivision. Tragic video not, tonight. Not a, a fiery crash involving a Navy turbo prop plane in Foley. The plane striking a home near Magnolia Place, killing the two people aboard. A neighbor taking this video just minutes after the plane struck a home, the house and several cars catching fire. A large volume of fire around the aircraft. We did have a house, uh, adjacent house involved and uh, several vehicles involved. These photos revealing the wreckage as thick black smoke filled the air. 
just a block from Magnolia School. Baldwin County School Superintendent Eddie Tyler says staff and kids in an after school program at Magnolia School were still on campus when the plane went down. A little bit too close for comfort. Our hearts and, 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 and thoughts go out to anyone in the Magnolia community uh, that might have been affected by this and to any of the families of, of the, the pilots if they were affected. Thankfully, not, no one on the ground was hurt. This is an active investigation. We've got local authorities, county authorities, state authorities, and federal authorities here already and more coming. Um, so the scope of the investigation just continues to grow. Earlier tonight, the Navy sent notice that it would not release the identities of the pilots until next of kin could be identified, which could take more than 24 hours. In Foley, Morella Porter, Fox 10 News. Breaking tonight in the deadly Navy plane crash that claimed the lives aboard the aircraft. We've learned the Navy trainer play was being flown by an instructor pilot and student. The plane came crashing into a home in the Magnolia Springs area, instantly sending flames and smoke into the air. Release 911 broadcastify transmission tells the terrifying and tragic moments. Station 44, Station 40, Zone 30, mutual aid response for airplane crash. So we got two houses involved uh, in the crash. Aircraft is totally destroyed. And tonight we're also hearing from neighbors who jumped into action moments after the crash. Tonight, crime scene tape remains up and the charred ruins of a Magnolia Springs home are visible. One day after authorities say a Navy aircraft crashed into the house on Mansion Street during a routine training exercise. Holy sh sending literal shockwaves through the quiet neighborhood. It was too close too close for comfort. If I can feel something like that, it was too close. Dennis Rosh lives two doors down from the scene. He says he ran outside after the blast shook his home. All I could see was just a pile of rubbish and a house and two cars on fire. And so I didn't want to get too close, but I also was about to go in the house to make sure everybody was okay. Rosh says first responders rushed to the scene and people living in the home ran outside. Investigators tell us they were not hurt. They were trying to get their dogs out and we started trying to push people back. There was a lot of fire. Uh, there, the plane was still exploding. There were probably two or three extra explosions afterwards. According to a Navy spokesperson, the T-6B Texan II aircraft was being flown by an instructor pilot and student out of nearby Naval Air Station Whiting Field in Milton, Florida. Both service members were killed in the crash. Heartbreaking doesn't really quite capture the emotion behind it, knowing that those officers, those friends, those shipmates of ours are not going to be there when we're looking for them on Monday. It's very difficult and they'll be dearly missed. Neighbors say they're glad no one in the home was hurt, but the loss of the plane's crew is tragic. It's a horrible situation. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family members and the other partners and friends of the pilots. Uh, just unbelievable. I'm told the crash is still under investigation by the Navy, which is working closely with Baldwin County authorities. The U.S. Navy is now investigating what caused a training plane that took off from Florida to come crashing down in a residential neighborhood near Mobile, Alabama. Both pilots on board were killed in that crash. You can see the fiery wreckage there. Witnesses say the plane came straight down and exploded, setting fire to a home and several cars. You know, the, the debris and stuff was flying. It was hot and flames just dropped out of the sky. I'm sure it had to be, you know, some kind of me mechanical function that went haywire because, you know, it, it just dropped out of the sky, it looked like. Well, the Navy says there have been no reports of anyone on the ground being injured. The names of the two pilots have not yet been released.